Good morning. Happy Monday. I'm feeling a bit swollen. I felt it immediately getting up this morning. Um, weighed it at 146.2, which is 1.2 pounds heavier than I was yesterday. I know the reason for this is because I oversalted my food last night and I know you can't gain 1.2 pounds overnight. So that being said, we are going to win today. We're not gonna let 1.2 pounds get us down and that's pretty much it. Oh, and I got my first hater Instagram. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm still sticking with the you, what is it, about catching more bees with honey than you do with shit. Yeah, that's, that's the motto for today. So uh, keep winning, keep moving forward, and uh, keep motivating other people, keep clapping for people, okay? Little pro tip for detox water. If the fruit is at the bottom, more than likely it has gone bad. If it floats at the top, she's still good. So I made a cucumber strawberry detox water to drink today and for a good portion of tomorrow because this will have to be gone. Like legit, when we do 75 hard, I will have to drink this whole container in one day. And this is the only way I can wrap my head around it because when we are using our country well water, which freaks me out, <laughs> I don't know why, um, but in order to eliminate our footprint on earth as well as unnecessary spending on 14 gallons of water per week, I have opted to go with a filtration container that we got off of Amazon. I'm sorry if you hear our dishwasher running. And I filled this little jug up with some fruit of some sort. Sometimes it's lemon, sometimes it's lime, what have you. This is what I go to. And then I fill up my trusty little water bottle that has my time on it. And that's pretty much it. So, hey, also little uh, side note, sangria, same process of those fruit floats. It's still fresh, yes. Here is what we are having for dinner tonight. A pan roasted chicken shawarma, yum. With, all right. This is gonna be 790 calories. I may make some cauliflower rice off to the side. Maybe some herb and garlic of some sort in order to add a little extra oomph to our meal. So that's what we're having tonight. Next meal, I did spinach, one egg, mozzarella, ground turkey, and a protein tortilla. Starting the process of the dinner, I made a Greek salad. Um, I used the Fage 0% Greek yogurt for this. This right here is gonna be a very big bulk of our calorie intake and our fat intake, which is feta. It is really good feta. I just, I tasted it earlier. I've got our chicken grilling and Huddy just finished his legs and shoulders. Leg, leg and shoulder, yeah. Yes, sorry. Got the burn going. Semi-nudity, <laughs> but yes. We, uh, we're about to chow down on this watch the playboy murders and end this monday out right so if mm -hmm. you are a part of first form and your coach requires you to do assessments and take photos get those done no one likes you to waste your money on an app that you're not using and anyone on my team i appreciate the same so okay. neglected on this one um the cauliflower rice that we have here with the herb and garlic. It is from Del Monte. So this is what we're having tonight. We're to find the patient deceased. Good morning. Did not sleep well again. Um, weighing in at 146.8 and I can't go to the bathroom and I feel the retention of water all over my body, especially in my feet and my hands. So 
definitely gonna have to eliminate that, figure something out today because this hurts all over. So, about to go try out a new cereal from Magic Spoon and I'll get this day started. Okay, I'm about it. Tuesday. I mean, granted, just like with any protein-based product that has been, has been turned into any type of... I appreciate you rearranging the litter box. Ugh. But with like any protein-based cereal or tortilla chip or potato chip or what have you, you're going to get that stuck in your teeth for like three hours. You could consider it silver lining a treat or <laughs> but it's really good or you can just consider it amazing so 14 net carbs 13 protein expensive he just bought it yesterday we are down to probably less than a bowl last week we had an ice storm and three days of rain this week the high 76 and I believe I just heard a bee. Okay, so I found out some big news. I didn't realize it. My, one of my favorite fitness people, um, who I normally follow is Whitney Simmons. She's associated with uh, Gymshark, had a makeup line and everything. She's gwedge. Julia Renee, absolutely fracking love her. Um, there's one that I just started watching last night called Mander, Mander something. Anyway, Nikki Blackadder, I've been watching her since 2018-ish, when now I'm addicted to YouTube because of her, and Heidi Summers that was associated through Buff Bunny. Anyway, so Instagram said, she was gonna, she also does a lot of gaming, Nikki Blackadder, and she just gave a notification about my beloved game. And I'm gonna tell you, the reason why I got back into reading was because of this book series as, so I started reading these books when I was like 19, 20, and I'm 40 now. <laughs> so here's what I did today. I burned 1,568 calories, if you can see that very clear. Um, I'm not gonna lie because I'm ha having bowel issues right now. Hopefully you can hear me. Because I noticed that when my previous video, don't, don't come at me about my feet, they look gross. Um, I noticed in my last video when I was making my bed that my, lovely tornado of a, a ceiling fan made it sound weird but anyway so have not been able to go to the restroom today i had skipped my opti greens and red yesterday as well as i ran out of magnesium so i'm because of my autoimmune disease my intestines automatically are becoming inflamed and blocked and all of that jazz hashtag thyroid health um haven't been able to go to the restroom properly and it is really fucking up my day. It literally will drain every bit of energy out of me if I can't go to the bathroom like as soon as I get up and then I'll have to go to the bathroom again probably one to two hours later if I drink coffee it's almost instantaneously but nothing is helping and I am on a high protein diet and nothing is coming out so it kind of hurts in there. So that is the reason for my one and a half one and a half um, water slash poo poundages. I was just explaining this to my husband. So what I did today, I probably did a half and half, if not more walking than jogging today. Um, so that being said, I did 13 miles and then I did the, this workout. What I did not put into my notes here today was called 4RFT. I repeated this four times. I also did a, um, I did 500 body weight side bends. So, but this is why I love this app. Like I get these beautiful announcements, these little tinkers of positivity. Greg Presson, he is the one of the Legionnaire coaches. He's over a good two, 300, maybe 400 people. Send you these lovely things, these lovely reminders. He sends me videos. So if you ever get on underneath me, and my name is Warby82 on under the advising program, um, you will receive the same. And this is why I love this app because 
here is my last announcement. I gave everyone a recipe for an easy taco paleo whole 30 taco casserole. So these are the things that you will receive underneath me. That is how to follow me. And that is about Aaron Will. He was um, put on the first form uh, highlight for the uh, first form page for anyone that uses the first form app. So it was great. Anyway, so while my husband is working out, I am going to build my character in just a moment. So I'll show you in a moment. Also forgot to put, it is day 30. It is day 30 and we are let very much less than two weeks out from 75 hard. 75 hard will fall on the 42nd or 43rd. Not looking forward to it guys, level one. This is my life, always being watched, always being judged. All right, I got to something. I don't fucking know what it was in the game. I know this isn't a game vlog. So I'm going to try and limit that. Anyway, I fucking love Harry Potter. I really do. I really do. The cats were parkour and they, they can't handle me being in my room, in my bedroom at all. And good news, the bowels started moving. So that's great. I'm going to, I made a mojo sauce from because I learned it from Roy Choi. So I've been marinating the steaks in it all day. It's supposed to be some sort of a fast moho whatever. I very rarely ever follow the recipes for the Marley Spoon. I normally just read them and then see what, like I'll make the salad because that looks interesting. I've never made orange salsa before. It's cilantro leaves, chopped onions, orange slices, Cilantro, vinegar, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so I normally try and make it my own because I am what I like to call an amateur farm-to-table chef. So I made Roy Choi's. Um, if y'all want the recipe, just Google Moho Roy Choi and it's C-H-O-I. So do that. Yeah. Yeah, my black cat whom I call my familiar, just got, got happy ass, started running through the house, and then hit the fucking couch. So he's gone full, um, if you know Tropic Thunder, he's gone the full R. We won't say that on this channel. Anyway, so that, and I try and practice never saying the R word. And I never, I don't like to call things weird either because one, I am a tarot reader. Um, so nothing is weird. Everything is explainable. Meh. All right. So gonna cook these up. Gonna heat some black beans up for hubby. Um, already told him I'm about to play this game tonight. This is his own fault. Um, I watch him play, what is it called? The... Uh, Fallout. Oh, I watch him play Fallout all the time while I'm exercising. So, that being said, I'm about to make these steak. That light is, like, making me look angelic. Um, I'm about to cook the steak, which will only take a minute. Prep the salad. Heat him up some black beans. Heat him up a tortilla. I figured, because I did a little snackaroo on the Quaker Oats um, cracker deals today and I ate a fiber one cookie which is probably not helping me right now and yeah I got I get the cold chills when I have to go to the bathroom so anyway so um about to cook and we'll kind of go from there well I normally don't watch the news um because the COVID the bad c word news took me over so bad that I had to stop watching it because where I worked, they literally cut the news on every morning and it just brought me down into like a state of depression. I, I, I was educated on what was going on, but shit. Um, I know Turkey just had that big ass um, earthquake. Um, I know that's connected to their fault line 
um, if you ever look up just earthquake fault lines, but the fuck's about to be talked about? That and the, the big balloon, the Chinese balloon. Um, wh what's about to be talked about, Mr. Um, Dirt to Dirt? Oh my God, if y'all haven't seen this movie, this is such a good movie. This is the, the girl from um, Home Alone. I remember that. That's the girl from Home Alone. Um, she was like a sister and she was like telling Kevin, don't worry, what ifs. But yeah, this great movie. This is my age show. Is sometimes when I'm stuck in this headspace that I think I um, would literally rather be dead, that it's just a frame of mind and the frame of mind, they all shift. Everything in your life is flux. So sometimes it is just a bad day or a calm down or a hangover or a, a shitty breakup or a shitty job or a shitty day or someone said something to you that really fucking fucked with you. It can be a shitty day, shitty week, shitty month, shitty year, but we're all alive right now. So you win in the end. Hashtag mental health matters. Yeah, like no joke. We would, I would watch these movies as soon as they came out. I, I would not be at the midnight showing. I've only done that for one movie and that was Twilight. Please don't make fun of me. But here it is. Is the game. So you heard everything I said. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. So completely stoked. My hair looks retarded. I just woke up. Again, thank you, Benadryl. I was getting up at 5.30 every freaking morning. And now that I'm on Benadryl until the 14th to help me just fall asleep. Yes, I'm taking one freaking pill of Benadryl every day, every night. Just to make me drowsy so I can fall asleep because my husband snores. Anyway, um, victory today, 144. 144. Yes. Victory. So, our electricity just went out, but I finished my Zoom call. Um, I'm doing my jog in place right now. I'm not going to allow the electricity not being on to deter me from my goals today, which is chest and back day, as well as getting in my steps so yeah some cool things about to happen for the legionnaires if you're a part of that program what's up um i am team greg so yeah yeah some pretty cool shit coming coming out through first form and um we'll leave it at that i posted a video or picture before but because i was lacking um, like an electricity, I normally try and get my protein in around lunch. Um, I, I normally eat eggs, but because we are a completely 100% electric house, I could not cook my eggs. So, um, opted for Fage Greek yogurt with the Louisiana hot sauce mixed into it. You can thin it out with water and I let you, I always put our leftover salads in the fridge as a just in case. Um, I get hungry as a filler, so I did a big bowl of salad, had onions and jalapenos and tomatoes in it, and probably a couple pieces of oranges left over from last night's mojo tacos. Whew. And um, added my black beans that were also um, our dinner last night. I'm looking a little bloated, but it's just because of this. <laughs> So trying to trying to utilize the fact that there is no air really circulating in here except for this stuff coming through the windows. It is so humid right now because it just rained this morning. I don't know why the electricity's gone off, but it is what it is. And we just gotta power through our obstacles, right? So quote is for the day, constantly pour into yourself. Education. Hashtag always be learning taking this workout outside taking advantage of the fact that it is very warm right now i think it's supposed to get up to 76 but the wind is blowing so if you can't hear me so sorry baby it's our house anyhow 
So I'm gonna get out here because it's starting to get really cold in there. I don't know what the fuck he's listening to down there. Okay, and I'm getting harassed by the cats. This is how many calories were burned today. Did 15 miles plus the chest and back workout. So I'm, a, I'm gonna go get a little HP in Harry Potter. <laughs> um, while he's working out, what I'm making tonight legit requires just oven time. So nothing crazy going on there. Just a few slice of ruse and pop her in the oven. So I'm gonna do that and cauliflower rice.